Hello everyone, thanks for checking out my video. It's Goose coming at you with a highlight of the latest update to Flux on geolocation. Stay tuned. I'm super excited to talk about this feature, guys. Geolocation on Flux. This is a beta feature right now, so it's undergoing revisions, but right out the gate, it's pretty awesome. And it's going to show you exactly where Flux is headed. And I'm talking next level stuff here. Imagine being able to choose not just what region, but what country you want your application to launch in. That's what geolocation is going to give you. So let's take a closer look at this new feature. Have a look at all those nodes, guys. Nearly 12,000 nodes worldwide, all waiting for you to run your application on the network. So let's get started with how we would launch an app on here using geolocation. The first thing you want to do is go to home.runonflux.io. So I want to click on the home button here. And you'll need to log into this node. And the way to do that is to just click on the little Zell ID button here, open up Zell Core, and then sign this message. Now that that's been sent, we can close this and we are successfully logged in. The next is to go over here to apps and then register Flux app. Here's where you'll put in all the details for your application, including the name, the description, your Zelle ID for the owner. And then for contacts, you'd put your public email address here. Uh, that's to receive alerts when it's time to renew your application on the network. This is a public email address, so just keep that in mind. Uh, and then the geolocation features right here, continent and instances. Now, if we leave this set to all, that will allow us up to 100 instances to be spawned globally around the world. So we have nearly 12,000 nodes on the network and that will allow us plenty of space to run that many instances globally. But let's say you wanted to drill down and target a specific region. And let's say I want to spawn five copies of this application to ensure redundancy. Well, let's say we're going to focus one of these regions. We have Asia, Europe, North America, or Oceania. So let's say Europe. And right off the bat, we've got a notification here that says the node type may fluctuate based upon system requirements for your application. For better results in Europe, please consider specifications more suited to Stratus hardware. Well, <laughs> Stratus is at the top tier of node hardware. So let's take a closer look at what those specs are. Over here on the Run on Flux website, we have a little breakdown of the different nodes and what type of hardware is running on those nodes. So for the Stratus tier, we're looking at eight cores, 16 threads with 64 gigs of RAM and 880 gigs of storage. So this is the top tier. So you can pretty much run anything on there. But let's say you don't need this high of a spec for your application. Let's say you just need something like two cores, two gigs of RAM, and 10 gigs of storage. Well, in that kind of a scenario, the application could very easily spawn on a Stratus node, but it could also spawn on a Nimbus or a Cumulus node for that matter. And this is kind of the beauty of the network. It automatically determines which nodes are available in that region, and then it will spawn the number of instances that you've asked for on nodes in that region. So that's how you would set this up if you want to run an application in a specific region or in that, on that particular continent. But notice we have a new field here for country. And this is really cool because it allows you to get even more specific. So originally I said I wanted five instances to run in Europe, which is great. But let's take a look here. Let's say I want to focus on Germany. Okay, in Germany it says basically the same message here. Make sure your specs are suited to Stratus hardware. And I got five instances. In fact, I could run 
all the way up to 15 instances in Germany if I wanted to. So that's pretty neat. So globally, I could do 100. In Germany, I could do 15. Not bad. All right, let's bounce it back to five. Let's say we want to kind of go even more granular here. Let's go to the UK. All right, UK, same thing. Specs suited to Stratus. So that pretty much means anything. But do notice that the instances drops down to three. So I'm not gonna be able to spawn five instances in the UK. And that's because the Flux network knows its limitations. It knows we're probably not gonna be able to spawn that many instances there, all right? And the other thing that we might consider here, for instance, in Belgium, notice it dropped the specifications down to Cumulus hardware. Now, that doesn't mean that there is not a Stratus or a Nimbus node that an application could run on in Belgium. Probably is. It's just saying that for best results, you want to make sure that your application can run on Cumulus tier because those are the ones that appear to be most readily available in that particular country. So, again, this is in beta mode and this will be changing as the weeks go on, but I think it's a really cool feature and a fantastic way to drill down on a certain country or region where you want your application to spawn. So there you have it, geolocation on Flux. I'm super excited about this, guys. Let us know what you think about this feature down in the comments below. If you liked the video, give us a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe, and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video. Peace.